Yeah, now we can hear you. What an improvement. so long since we're flying together. I know. We, we, I feel like we always say that on every beginning of every video. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've both been very busy with studying. And indeed we have. Both being Czech ride bound, we had to optimize our time and although we've flown with the Aero Club a few times, Elias and I haven't really flown together lately. Now, if you remember our Everglades City video, we said we needed to go back. But if you haven't seen the video, I think you should stop this video right now and click the upper link to watch it. You won't regret it. I turn it on. Everglades traffic air coupe, still on port, trying to final for 1-5, Everglades City. We're using 1-5. Okay. Once we are 10 miles from it, we're gonna start making reports. 90. Yeah, 1-5 is better. All right, old camera's recording. Everglades City traffic, white and red says no Skyhawk, about uh, eight miles to the east of the airport. We'll be overflying the airport at 1,500 to scan for traffic. Uh, Everglades City traffic. Okay. All right, pre-landing checklist, seat belt is checked, fuel set up bow, mixture is rich, carb heat is off, landing lights are on, let's turn the strobes on, circuit breaker check, max set on both, master set it on, and primer is in I see one other aircraft, uh, about 1,500 feet, uh, a couple of miles from the airport. Is that uh, the only traffic? So far, yes. That's the red and white Cessna Skyhawk. Okay, thanks. Uh, do you know what the winds are down there? Uh, we checked Marco Island. It's uh, 080 right now, so most likely we're going to be joining 15 as well. Okay, thanks. 18 gusty. No problem. 28. That's the guy that's behind us? Yep. Uh, 5240 Romeo, you're doing a left down one for one five? Uh, negative, we're going to do a right down one, sorry about that, uh, for 5240 Romeo. Right down one, okay, I'm over the top 15, and I'm going to do a right down one as well, I'll give you plenty of time to get in. Alright, thank you so much. Alright, going down, out of 1500, let's descend to 1000. Everglades City traffic, white and red says on Skyhawk, turning final for one way one five. Everglades City traffic. Alright, let's trim this. Okay, City, Skyline, 5 miles to the east. We're gonna overfly at 1,500 and then at a right down one for 1 5. Everglades. Airspeed looking good, 70. Whoa! That's gusting. Yeah, it's alright. I got you. Alright, 
Uh, regular city traffic, on short final for 1-5. Regular city traffic. All right. Might be bumpy. Oh, it was bumpy. It's all right. Okay. It was good. Yeah. Ugh. I broke my back. Now, as explained in the Airplane Flying Handbook Chapter 8 of the FAA Handbooks and Manuals, many runways or landing areas are such that landings must be made while winds are blowing across, rather than parallel to the landing directions. All pilots must be prepared to cope with the situations when they present. There are two usual methods of accomplishing crosswind approach and landing, the crap method and the wing low method. Although the crap method may be easier for a pilot to maintain during a final approach, it requires a high degree of judgment and timing in removing the crap immediately prior to touchdown. The wing low method is recommended in most cases, although a combination of both methods may be used. As for Elias, it was the perfect opportunity to demonstrate the knowledge acquired during training to execute a safe landing under these conditions. And if you ever have the opportunity to fly with an experienced pilot that can teach you the proper technique, like your instructor, we encourage you to do so, as takeoffs are optional but landings are mandatory. It's important to understand that contrary to what some pilots may think, an aircraft's maximum demonstrated crosswind component, it's only an operating limitation if an aircraft manufacturer says so. It's not a limitation imposed by FAA regulations, and this knowledge could prevent accidents like Continental Flight C01404, where inadequate crosswind training led the Boeing 737-500 run off the runway during departure in Denver. As for explaining how to accomplish an appropriate crosswind landing, there are literally dozens of videos to choose from on YouTube made by much more experienced pilots, CFIs, and universities, for which we are going to leave all the links in the description below as well as the NTSB report of the Continental Airlines accident. But just like the last time we came to Everglades City, the sad moment where we have to head back arrived. Since we are now arriving to the end of our trip, let me just say that 85% of our viewers aren't subscribed. So if you want to support us and enjoy the videos, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content. Also, sharing the video with your friends would help us a lot. With that being said, see you on our next adventure. And as always, wings level.